And welcome back, meteorologist Brian Ramsey with us now. We are talking about the wind event out there. In fact, we just got yeah. the new information from PG&E. Uh, shutoffs expected to start at 2 a.m. for Butte, Tehama, and parts of Shasta County. 15,000 people affected there. Yeah, and then there's going to be more shutoffs at 4 p.m. for other areas farther south in Butte and Plumas County right. as well. So, uh, but it's all because of the winds. Yeah. So the winds, red flag warning uh, out there right now, starting tonight, lasting through Monday. And you can see the winds blowing around a bit from our North Chico camera, even the power lines kind of bouncing around out there. Uh, the winds were blowing a little stronger earlier. They've calmed down just a little bit, but again, that red flag warning hasn't taken effect yet. It doesn't take effect until tonight. Uh, it actually takes effect at 9. PM across parts of the valley. A little different the farther north you go, but overall you can see pretty much the entire area. We got uh, strong north winds coming in and strong east winds blowing towards the west. So those are downslope winds. Those downslope winds are dry winds because whenever air drops, it dries. So you get very dry humidity, 10 to 20 percent tomorrow through Monday. And again, those winds could gust 40 to 45 miles per hour. Some of those gaps and canyons, such as Jarbo Gap, could gust up to 55 miles per hour. Now the sustained wind gusts across the area, not too many measurable wind gusts. That's the good news with 18 mile per hour gusts in Orville, 20 in Corning. All these other sites, you can't read them because there's no recorded wind gust at the moment. That's good news. But as we go through your future cast, once we go, uh, really this is around midnight where we're beginning to see those winds starting to pick up. You see the reds, that's area where it's about above uh, 30 miles per hour. Whenever you see the pink, that's when you're starting to see 40 mile per hour wind gusts, and that's when that really kicks in. So this is going to be lunchtime tomorrow. Very strong whisk winds coming in from the north. That's a dry wind. It's going to be strong. It's going to last all day through Sunday. So once we get to Sunday midnight, we're still seeing some of those strong winds, mostly in the foothill regions, which is where those power shutoffs will be taking place. And then once we go into Monday, we're going to see strong winds all through the day on Monday until we get to Monday night. Then the winds will eventually calm down out there. Now look at your satellite imagery. We do have some clouds that did move through the area. It kept some of us a little cooler for today. So there's the good news. Uh, as far as the air quality, the air quality is looking improved because those winds have gotten a lot stronger. Now uh, 90 right now in Redding, 89 in Oroville, and 60s and 70s in many of the mountain regions. Tonight and tomorrow, though, across the lower Klamath Mountains, we're going to see highs getting into the 80s out there, and then tomorrow in the mountains and the Sierra foothills, probably just 70s out there on the ridge. Again, 80s for those high temperatures. Staying sunny all day, very windy as well. In the Sierra foothills, we'll see highs in the 80s as well. As we head into the North Valley, look at that, mid-90s, overnight lows in the 60s, and again, still going to see those strong winds north, 20 to 25, highs getting into the 90s out there. But why are we getting windy? It's because we're going to have this low-pressure system. It's going to drop to our east, and that's going to bring those strong winds into our region because that high is very strong, that low is very strong, so you got two very strong opposing systems causing that very strong wind. As for tomorrow's day, though, it's National Chocolate Milk Day, so there's some good news. Stay inside, drink chocolate milk. If you have a power shut off again, leave that fridge closed. That way your items uh, will last. A high of 93 degrees out there for tomorrow. As we get to your seven day forecast in Chico, high of 96 degrees for tomorrow, 97 for Monday, and then we're getting pretty close to 100 degrees by Wednesday. That's going to be the hottest day of the week, and then possibly cooling back down by next weekend. As for Reading, 95 degrees for that high tomorrow, high fire danger Sunday and Monday, and then getting into the triple digits Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but possibly dropping back into the mid 90s by next weekend. Definitely warm for this kind of time of year, Brian. Yes, yeah. it is pretty warm, uh, well above average, but. It, Hopefully, this is going to be one of our last real heat waves. All right. Fingers crossed. All right. Fingers We're coming crossed. right back.